Welcome back. I got my little Fox body in here. Uh, last time I drove it, what was that, about six months ago? Maybe longer? It died. Left me walking. I had to call for a ride and tow it home. And haven't touched it since. Figure it's time to drag it in here and get it fired up again. Figure out what's wrong with it. But yeah, it's an 89. It came out of Texas. It's actually in really nice shape. Granted, the paint is dead on it. I did take the buffer to the top a little bit. And, I don't know. Cleaned up nice, but there's tons of swirls in it and scratches. and I, I don't know. It might be time to just paint this thing. But yeah, I've added 10, 12 years, something like that. And it is a hybrid. Burns the gas and the rubber. <laughs> no. <clears throat> Once I get it run, I'd like to go through and give it a good cleaning. In the last couple of years, it sat quite a bit. You know, I let my little brother take it for a summer, and he didn't hardly drive it, so I was like, all right, I'll take it back. But yeah, it's just a 302, nothing fancy. As far as I know, I didn't do any of the engine work. But it's got Edelbrock heads and upper intake and five-speed car. 373 posi it's got i don't know it's not a slouch it it moves along pretty good it's i've been within like a tenth of a second to be in the 12s but but yeah i think what the issue was is i had this crappy wire on it because i had robbed that off for something else and part of the boot was cut off and i think what happened it was arcing from the negative back and forth and I think it popped my 6AL box. My 6AL two, with a two-step that worked one time and then quit working, so. But yeah, I just swapped this wire back on it because this was the one for the car. So, maybe I'll try firing it up just in case it did just fry the wire. All I did was kill the wire. <laughs> I guess that was an easy fix. <laughs> I parked it because I thought it was the box. did fry just fry the wire so where'd that wire go i just had it in my hand oh there it is <clears throat> well that was an easy fix yeah. Yeah, i thought for sure this wasn't even lit up when it was when i was trying to start it last time but uh, well i guess uh Buff on the car and clean it up and get it looking pretty again. <laughs> Six months of sitting, and all I had to do was put a different coil wire on it. Yeah. Sometimes it's a lot easier than you think. So I know it needs an oil change. I don't. I don't know what the deal with that is. It's not supposed to look like like syrup. It's so, kind of milky. Yeah. Do the old vice grip garage and taste it. Tastes like a lot of gas. It's definitely 1540 Rotella. Mm. So yeah, I'll probably pick up oil and filter for it tomorrow, but yeah, I guess we can Clean it up and I want to vacuum all the pine needles out of here. 
last thing I want to do is catch it on fire. So, but yeah, we'll get busy. We'll, uh, we'll start filming when I start polishing. Well, oh, look at that. Straight water. How did I get water in my engine? Anybody answer me that? No, I can't. Yeah, can I? Jeez. Wow. No bueno. I had it tarp last winter. Uh-huh. It's been tarp all summer. After we're... Right? Wasn't there a tarp on it? Only... After you would quit driving it. Yeah, that's water. That's not even coolant. There's no way that condensation created that much. Straight water oil change. Look at that. Look at that. Uh oh. Well, that's no good. That make you mad and you dump water in my oil? I would never. Oh. What about that time you ran my old car in a pond? My old hot rod. Well, there was that time. Yeah. Too bad it's a Chris Stapleton song. <laughs> For Travis Tritt. I don't remember. Chris Stapleton. I think Travis Tritt sang something, sang something similar too though. Mm -hmm. You think I'm talented enough to pull both drain plugs out? Nah, I better wait on that one. <laughs> Granted, that one's leaking out slow, but... Man, now I'm concerned. Why, why, why? If you got any ideas, comment below. I don't think the heat cycles could have caused that. The only thing that's open is the breather. Everything else is... See a lip up top. Uh, look at that. It's gray. Half swirl. Might be selling a cheap Mustang. <laughs> Only might need slight engine work. Yeah. Because I actually only drove it twice after I picked it up from Jeffrey. Maybe you made somebody mad. We could probably guess who. <laughs> yeah. Good. But, yeah, I don't know. I guess I'd fill it with fresh oil and run it and see what happens later on. Yeah, that's a chunky slurry. I guess worst case scenario, we pull the heads off of this and put it on your truck and really make that little 302 snort in there. Yeah, I'm going to keep letting this uh, milkshake that brings all the boys to the yard keep running into my oil pan. Let's see what comes out of the front plug. More garbage. Well, I'm just going to pull the plugs and let it drain for a couple days. See what else I can get out of it. I'll probably just buy a cheap filter and some cheap oil and fill it up, run it for a little bit, get it hot, drain it, and put a Wix filter on it and some Rotel back in it. and Hopefully it gets all the garbage out of there with one oil change. If not, I'll do it again. I'm thinking it's the valve cover gaskets. They're kind of brittle. I wonder if that rain we got with having the hood open. I thought I had it covered, but might have just got enough in there to fill the oil pan. Who knows? But you live and you learn, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's time to find a 
hood scoop for this thing too. I got up. Gotta get up first. Got a six inch cowl for this that I had on there for years, but I can't see over it. And this causes problems. Gonna get pulled over from having something like that on it. Uh, the other day, Whiskey Dance was talking about wrecking some windows because of grinding by it. It cost his company like $15,000. You can see the hood or the windshield here and there. When I cut this out, through chips, the sparks all over. And chipped up that windshield, so. But it needs one anyway because it's busted. So, yeah. <laughs> if you're grinding around glass, cover it. That's my best advice from him to me to you. So, yeah, I'm gonna let that drain for a while. And as for tonight, I think we're done. After I get it back on the ground, we'll clean it up, buff it up, shine it up. I don't know. Maybe paint it up. Maybe clear coat it. I don't know. I guess. Let me know what you think I should do with it. Sell it to the highest bidder. No. Didn't you tell me you'd leave me if I sold this car? Mm-hmm. Why'd you just say that? Because last time I sold mm -hmm. my last Fox body, I complained about it for like six years until I found this one. At least. Yeah. I had a real nice 90... I think it was a 92 coupe. It was all in primer. All the body work was done. And I was in the process of building a Camaro, so I sold that to fund a Camaro and... Yeah, it took me a long time to find this car, so I don't think I'll ever sell this thing. I guess money talks. I got the right, right amount of money for it to go, but... So yeah, we'll do some more filming when it's back on the ground. So I got all the water out. Just did the... Doing the first flush on the oil. See what, uh, see what it looks like coming out. More water. Oh, that thing is warm, so. Well, that's better than I expected. I think I pulled out two gallons of water slash oil mixture. Yeah, this might be a three time. Apparently my rear main seal's leaking too. So. Cute. Oh yeah, milkshake. mostly oil. No, there's water coming out still. Little water droplets. Now let that drain. I'm going to pull the front one quick and let it drain for a while and do another oil change on it. Well, this is the second oil change. Still looking off like milky. The oil is nice and hot though. It's... Oh, that's a lot better than the last time. I think this will be the last one. Then I can fill it with some Motella. Yeah. I think it'll be fine. So yeah, gallon of water in your oil. It'll be okay if you change it three times. All right, it's enough for now.
Unless you guys want to watch the oil train. I kind of like watching it. It's time. I'm going to clean this thing up. You really can't tell, but yeah, the seats are pretty grungy. Floor is grungy. I got some of this uh, green can. What is this? Turtle wax poster cleaner. Let's see how this does. I'm going to put the little lady to work and have her do the vacuuming. She's back there hiding. Where are you at? What are you hiding from? Say hi to my Uncle Alan. Hey, Alan. Uncle Alan. Hey, Uncle Alan. Uh, she's camera shy. Since, she, since she's camera shy, I'm going to sneak up. We'll, we'll film her in action. Gotcha! <laughs> How's that? Is that better? What a dork. The stuff I deal with. Stuff actually works pretty good. Yeah, I'd washed that like three times earlier. And a little bit of this and a little bit of bristles. Yeah. It's got a nice spray pattern. Maybe. <laughs> now it's pretty simple. Spray it on, brush it in, let it dry, and then vacuum it. Let's see if it makes the seats look any better. I was at the car show today and I met this guy that Defoe Auto Detail, Auto Superior. I'm gonna have him come up and do some of my vehicles. And then when he's done with that, I'll probably clear coat this one. And that way it's got a nice shine to it because he knows what he's doing. He's a professional. And we got our special guest with us today. <clears throat> That's Derek from Vice Grip Garage. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's the neighbor dog. She just comes around and you know hangs out, begs for treats. Right. Isn't that right? Don't even know her name. Who tried? It might even be a boy. Who knows? All fluffy. So, but yeah, I did the. I serviced the rear end, serviced the transmission, did a bunch of oil changes. I just took it out, and this is the best this Tremec has ever shifted. I'd always was thought I should run that Dex Merc in it because I had looked at a forum one time and it said to run that. Well, this being a TKO, it says run Synchro Mesh in it. So I put that in there, and this transmission has never shifted this nice. It's nice and smooth. So from now on, that stuff's going in any one of my manuals. Right. Right. Where are you going, huh? So yeah, if somebody wants to name the dog for us. Right. Missy? What's your name? Sit. Is your name Sit? Oh, yeah, Shake. Oh, good dog. How about get out of here? Can you do that? All right. See ya! She takes herself on walks. See her all the time walking on the side of the road and me and the wife will go for a walk and she'll join us and yeah, we've mile walk before. Mile there, mile back and she hung out with us. Yeah, she wants another treat. So yeah, I got this thing old, old car back on the road. Luckily I messed with it before just firing it up and taking it out and beating on it. But make the plan, work the plan. Check out Whiskey Dents, High Octane, Tanner Rebuilds, 
1776 garage matt cameron at ok speed shop i'm really liking what he's putting out real cool uh old chevy or gmc tri fi pickup nice truck yeah that's everybody right nobody's wrench i like them guys too i met them down in eau claire so yeah i'm done yakking so thanks for watching to the end and we'll see you next time